The people, the headlines, the issues impacting you and your family. This Week in Cincinnati on 9 on Your Side. Good morning and welcome to This Week in Cincinnati. I'm Craig McKee. First today, Cincinnati's Preschool Promise. The Preschool Promise was created when voters approved a Cincinnati school levy in 2016. $15 million from that $48 million annual levy is set aside to provide preschool for three and four year olds. Nearly 1,500 students now receive tuition assistance through that program. And joining us today and this morning to bring us up to speed on how the program is going is the Preschool Promise's Executive Director, Shiloh Turner and Interim Director for Early Childhood with Cincinnati Public Schools, Vera Brooks. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you for having so us. So here we are in this first year. Um, what has been the biggest challenge in trying to get your training wheels off and let this program really flow? Sure, I, I, I'll take yes, that and please you can do. respond if you'd like. <laughs> uh, the, I think in the first year, it, because it was a new initiative, we really had to put a lot of the infrastructure in place. So for example, our board of directors, getting our 501c3 status, hiring staff, and then of course putting the infrastructure in place to actually um, enroll students and identify and work with providers. So a lot of that early work in year one has been accomplished and a special thanks to interim executive director Stephanie Bird because she really led a lot of that early work prior to my coming on board um, this past February. So I think you know a lot of that work was put in place in year one. Mm -hmm. uh, in year one, we served about 1,300 students uh, and worked with uh, about 80, uh, 82 providers, mm -hmm. both with CPS, CPS as well as with community providers to provide that tuition assistance. Um, in year two now, we started right. at academic year two, all of that was already in place. So it was really a much smoother more enrollment process. Uh, we More just, focus on, okay, now the curriculum and the students and, and that part of it instead mm -hmm. of all the Yeah, and, and instead of putting everything yeah. in place. And also continuing to expand the providers that we're working with both on tuition assistance and the quality improvement work that we're supporting. The, some of the, the first year uh, quota numbers, I guess not enough qualified teachers, not enough qualified daycare centers, uh, and there was no tuition for three-year-olds who attended private, parochial, or in-home preschool. That has changed that in has academics changed. too. Okay. Yep. And yep. where do you stand with qualified teachers and centers? You know, qualified teachers are going to be a continued challenge. There, there is a teacher pipeline challenge, uh, not just here in Cincinnati, but nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of quality providers, we have, as I said, we've we've moved to 86 providers that are providing uh, tuition assistance supports for our kids. And we're also working through our quality improvement supports to help centers that are not yet quality rated. And by that, I mean the state has a step up to quality system. And we define quality as a three star, four star, or five star. But if your center is unrated or one star or two star, you can receive quality improvement supports through our quality improvement program, which can include things like curriculum, it can provide um, additional training for your teachers, okay. it can provide materials and other things that you need for the classroom. And as we work through the quality improvement process, we will have additional quality seats that are created in our community. You're looking at $15 million uh, yes. out, of this, out of this levy, it's a five year levy. Is 15 million enough? Are you finding that 15 million is enough? Can you stretch that over the five year period? I think we're looking at different, at Cincinnati Public, um, we have a variety of funding sources. So mm -hmm. our preschool promise dollars are our last dollars in. Um, all of our classrooms this year have highly qualified teachers and we're able to service more students. We're expanding and we're expanding again in January. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking at where in those areas is there a need that, mm -hmm. that providers and our classrooms are at and where they're not at. So then we can look and see, okay, where can we service more families and where can we look to help providers step up to that quality and also our classrooms have that five-star rating to move forward. So it's very fiscally responsible yeah, um, to really look and see how we can help everyone move forward because we want everyone to ensure that their child has a quality early childhood experience as they're getting kindergarten ready. If you're only in the second academic year, results aren't necessarily on the data sheets yet. Not quite Not yet. Quite. We are working on kindergarten readiness mm -hmm. scores. Mm -hmm. I know that the district yes, conducted yes. those and those then go up to the state and eventually mm -hmm. come back, back to the district. Yes. So we're kind of in that limbo land where we're waiting from the state to, to provide that kindergarten mm -hmm. readiness data. So. In that first year, 
that's going to be first year data. It, how many years down the road will it take to really see is this program working? Mm -hmm. Is the $15 million uh, worth the taxpayers to, to possibly vote again for this levy five years down the road? I think we'll show growth. This year we're collecting that baseline data. Yeah. So the next year, you know, our our students that are four that are now in kindergarten this year will be first graders next year. So as we continue to look and see how their growth, um, both academically and socially emotionally, um, we'll be able to see positive results. Um, we're Absolutely. really working on that quality improvement and we're really looking at how can we provide professional development for our providers and for our teaching staff within St Cincinnati Public Schools that they are prepared to serve our three and four year olds right. um, for a quality education and that they're ready when they walk in that kindergarten classroom, they are prepared for that school setting and then they can really show advancement as their journey through the educational process. We have about a minute left here. Uh, what communities are you seeing possibly a shortage of providers that you'd really like to see more providers uh, integrated into the community? So we identified through a RAND study that we conducted prior to the levy. Um, they identified 11 um, what they call quality gap areas. Okay. So mm -hmm. those are neighborhoods such as Avondale, um, West, Lower, and East Price Hill. Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, there's a, Well, we a saw bunch um, of an area around the College Hill area. So mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we will be opening um, two classrooms at uh, Rising Stars Aiken in January. Okay. Also, um, more on the west side of town, we see that we need more providers and classrooms to service families. So we'll also, um, we're expanding in January to Sailor Park. We're okay. adding a classroom there. But there are also a lot of providers that are being um, encouraged to you know, yes. join because sure. we're, we want to reach every single three-year-old and four-year-old. And if, and if a provider is out there with about 10 seconds mm -hmm. left sure. there, if, if a provider happens to be watching out there, you think, all right, I would like to get into this program and help through, you know, yes. three and yes. four-year-olds in this program, yes. what would you encourage them to do? Uh, we have a website that they can uh, apply to, cincy, C -I -N -C -Y, preschools.org. Mm -hmm. or our phone number is 447-4277 okay. and that contact information is valid both for providers that want to get involved but also families that may be eligible to receive tuition assistance. All right, Shiloh Turner, Vera Brooks, thank you both for being here today. Thank, thank you, you very much. All right.